for work of red on. I actually slept look slept off. <laughs> I am just waking up. Um okay. You buy it. Welcome. So this is actually a clickbait. I know some of you will not believe that at this game, what is up with yeah. It's not actually a clickbait and I'm sure when some people actually get the notification, they will feel like well that's in need, she's going to charge for it, so wait till she won't talk. And that's why <laughs> actually then she said sometimes you do like this, sometimes you just don't run and then <laughs> in an unusual way. And with the way I'm saying it now, some people have actually known that it's actually a clickbait. No, now they are scanning through my video looking for the link. Or if some people have even rushed to the description box to go and click the link and go and send CV. Let's just give them like one minute. Let them let them go to the description box, scan through the video, go and send CV. Then we'll continue what you want to see. Um, okay, they are scanning through the video now. They are looking for the link. They've gone to the description box now. They've clicked the link. They've gone to send CV. Okay. Then maybe like two days after now, they will start saying, so you're unfortunate and everything. They will come on YouTube and say, no, nobody is judging that you're unfortunate. I'm Anyways, for those of you that have stayed, I are ready to listen to what I have to say. You know, I used to tell you, when time I make a video, that I'm coming here to post a video, no matter how long it is, I know I talk too much, I know it's long, but then, it's me that went to Oyo, Emimo Loso, Yotimo Toyopo. It's me that went to Oyo State, that traveled there, that I okay, this is Amala they used to eat there. So, you only is not to ask me that, what is the type of Amala that they used to eat in Oyo? How fella is it? How distant is it? Ask me the type and how they prepare it. Like, I used to, hmm. For those of you that have sent CV in real life, I'm sure that you have patience to listen because you will know I have applicants I attend to. So I know some trick and trick. So when I tell you a job is sponsoring a clinic or anything, you only just to sit down and listen to whatever I have to say. Because even if those companies, those organizations will have their own rules and regulations, me myself, I used to have my own rules and regulations because like I used to tell you, before I bring anything, to your doorstep as video for you guys to watch you people know i don't to copy and paste you know you know please permit me to raise my shoulders it's not easy it's not easy permit me to raise my shoulders so before i bring anything any content you guys on youtube i actually used to test run it please can i drop my hand it's not easy to act right i actually used to test run it so when i test run it or do anything like that when i say okay if you do it like this this one will do like this we do it like this and everything but there's one when i say something something is offering this thing back on you have gone to sense are you not tired of sending cv are you not tired any small vacancy where you see you go just the same cv can't you even just do it from your mind let nature even let the universe even know that yes so you did this thing from your heart even when um I actually charge my afternoon for one care. You know that I tell you, see, see my spots. That's why I used to stay, sleep, and be editing the TV one after the other, and see how every one of them was shortlisted. But as we say, myself, I just fling the TV up and down, saying, "She, I just got waiting on sign me." Sometimes when you do something from your heart, eh, even if you are not a religious person, universe, eh, they will respect that thing. They will respect your effort. But then you see vacancy, but you don't fly TV. Anyways, for those of you that have stayed, I will be telling you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one organizations, care homes, not care homes, there's no care home here. Twenty-one hospitals that is actually recruiting nurses. Yeah, and in that this day, before we, I mentioned those nurses, I'm going to be telling you some things and this thing to do. So, like I told you. If I see any job vacancy in the public space, I'll come and make video and tell you guys. But anyone that is in the secret place, to <laughs> hmm, it's me that also for it. You have to pay for it, you understand? So, invariably, what I'm trying to say is these care homes, sorry, these hospitals are actually in the public space. But even at that, that they are even in the public space, you know, I understand English. You know, it's easy for me to come and tell you that. So, guys. This is 21 unpopular hospital and then people will be in the comment section you'll be hyping hey I should tell me it's clinical but it's going to be new so my applicants know when I want to send their CV to um, any job because like this public, I'll tell them this one I saw it in public oh, more around now that's what I came to tell you this care of these hospitals they are in the public space you can get them on maybe some of these jobs website or anything but then even at that 
even at that that they are in the public website most of them are not common yeah most of them are not popular most of them are not common. but why i'm not actually charging for it is because public space motive so anyone that is not seeing the public space it was me that just went to drag it there's a way me i used to drag my own hair i'll charge for it but if it's that i saw it in the public space but then maybe people do not have inside eyes to see it but me i have inside eyes to see it a hair you understand so from this 21 list you receive the ones that are popular and then you see the ones that are not so popular so i'm going you've never heard it before yeah you've never heard it before so even when i say they are in the public space it does not mean that they've been this thing but then whether they are in the public space or they are not in the public space or they are anywhere the best thing that you can do for yourself and your family members is you know that the first point of contact to any job um, vacancy or submitting CV, or submitting application is your what? Your CV. I've told you, are you people not tired of sending CV? Well, sir, I'm, I might trust my job by nature because I've been telling people, it's not about to just be sending vacancies. There are so many vacancies everywhere. So many vacancies. It's about to just be flinging your CV anywhere. Mm -mm. You have to be sure that because that your CV is the first point of contact. Even if you have 10 years experience as a nurse, if your CV is, is not up to clinical, they will not see it. It will, it will just fly one place. They will not see. Even if you have one million years of experience as a nurse, and you feel like, oh, because you have one million years, once they see your CV, they don't give you. You suppose don't know UK by now. It's not gonna change. And you know, some some of these companies actually make use of ATS software. Uh -huh. And that's why I told you, anytime I comment or post anything, always listen to me. I've heard about this ATS software. But so far, I've not seen any organization, especially particularly Keom, that uses it. But there was one uh, of my applicants that I sent that CV. I noticed that they used it. I, I used to hear about it, but I did not feel like, ah, you don't need Keom money done from my low ATS system. My dear, they passed one of my applicants' CV, but I was like, okay, it, we don't be like that. And that's why I told you, you know, I don't know they lie, and that's why people do not like me. And they used to lie. I get to tell you that even when I collect money from you, I'm using it to do practical. You get, I told you I am new to this thing, I don't have experience. I'm still using my applicant to do experience uh, experiment. So if I didn't use them to do that extra experience, I'll not have no say there's on care home to your But that one, that care home is like one in this thing. So did this thing actually bounce back? Not like it's bounce back, the way they responded, then I tried to trace the <laughs> That's something about me. When somebody replied me, like this, I like to trace the origin of the. I think you say keep it up for your research queen. Or oh, maybe very cool. Show why you mean. Okay, as I was saying, so listing. Um, okay, I've talked about. Um, I'll be listing the hospital. So some of these hospitals are actually NHS hospitals. Some are normal, normal hospitals. Some are private hospitals. Some are government hospitals. Some are. So I did not separate them. So anyone to be a bad thing. So like I told you, it's not about me just coming here to come and make video and tell you that, okay, this hospital is recruited and everything. Do yourself that favor to have a very good banging CV. Don't just send CV like, I just want to send. So that when, when, when people are talking, you say, ah, myself, I've sent to over 100 hospitals. It's not making it. We're not doing competition. We're not doing competition of who, who, who sends CV pass. You understand? We're not doing competition of who sends CV pass. So. It is more of a delight when you say, ah, I sent my CV to just two hospital and the two of them gave me, shortlisted me and like the way do you say it's gone. So it's not about you just sending your CV to all the 21. Take your time. Take your time to draft a very good CV. If you know you're not good with CV, you don't have to draft CV. Hmm? You look everywhere, you don't have to draft CV. I draft CV and cover letter for 150000 never only, TV $100. Cha-cha, baby. And as I said, draft it yourself. But if you know that you're not good with drafting CV, eh, you're not good with it, UK form and everything, come and pay me to draft for you. But you see that this one, I'm not putting show show in your own order by fire by first, but what I'm just portraying is your CV is important. So I can say this girl is fighting for her pocket. Okay, I'm fighting for your my pocket, but then I'm fighting for your life as well. Because there's no way you get shortlisted with it. And now CV, and people know I attend to applicants. I've seen a lot of CV in the past. I've seen people that have this experience in real life, but then their CV is the problem. And then they will say they are not getting shortlisted. They are not getting, how will they get shortlisted? To so do yourself that favor, to have a very, very good banging CV. There are a lot of videos on YouTube you can watch. There are so many templates on Google. There are so many things that you can actually use to 
draft your CV and I used to tell you some of this um hospital or this they actually make use of ATS system. This ATS system is like a tracking system like um before they filter any CV they'll just put all the CV inside the oven. So anyone that does not have keyword oh, come on, book base, it does really is one that makes use of that keyword gang that will not bring it ahead. <laughs> you understand? So you can try more and research your brother. So I'm telling you guys about 21 hospitals that actually require mm, actually recruit nurses when i talk about nurses i don't mean just nurses so nurses you must have your number one is you have to be a registered nurse in your own country whether ghana whether nigeria whether anyway you must be a registered nurse in your own country number two you must have your license number three is you have done your nmc um registration the number three is you that number four you've that done your excuse me english exam so this basic requirement or eligibility is not limited to is not limited to we can ask we can have some hospitals that can ask you for the bring extra head extra nose extra teeth mm -hmm. some people can actually ask for driver's license some kill ask for i keep saying kill some hospitals actually ask for driver's license so in that view if you know you have driver's license add it to it add it to your cv money driver's license or to boost it up if you know you have um any other um, accessory requirements that can it, there is a session you used to add it, add it to it. Then what else? Uh -huh. So now they are just dealing with auxiliary nurses. No, I'm talking about registered nurses that have um, NMC certificates. Uh -huh. And this is, so those are the ones that are actually qualified. So please, it's not about me coming here to say this piece is recruiting and everything. Uh -huh. Make sure to try, just try, just try. Try to draft a very very good CV. If you know you don't know how to draft CV, you don't have an idea, you don't have anything. Um, come and pay money. We can help you. But there is a, it's not by fault because I don't always say ah this guy. But if you know that your CV is good, apply. But if you know that your CV only be got up, dear card come and pay and draft CV. Uh -huh. So the first one. So the first one on my list is Yorkshire. NHS Trust. The next one is Manchester Union. Manch, Manch, please, if I'm not pronouncing it, more than enough, it slips it in my eyes like this. I'm typing it on the screen. The next one on my list is Manchester University Hospital. The next on my list is East Kent Hospital. The next on my list is Voya Berkshire NHS Trust. The next on my list is, I say, I can't even see what I wrote. Shubu, strawberry, not strawberry, Shwebuvi, Shwebuvi, and Telford NHS Trust. I'll be typing it on the screen. The next on my list is Voya Madison NHS Trust. The next on my list is Sore and Sources. Okay, Sore and Sources NHS Trust. The next on my list is Walter Hampton NHS Trust. The next on my list is York, York and Scamborough NHS Trust. The next on my list is Hamilton, Hamilton, Hamilton University Hospital. The next on my list is Family at NHS Trust. The next on my list is University Hospital, South Hampton. The next on my list is East Sussex, Sussex Healthcare. The next on my list is York Scarborough. <coughs> Long shall York, yeah? York Scarborough Teaching Hospital. The next on my list is University Hospitals of Derby and Bottom NHS Trust. The next on my list is the Shrewberry. I mentioned this one now. Okay, so that means 20 hospitals, right? So the next on my list is not Bristol NHS Trust. The next on my list is Royal Cornwall Hospital NHS Trust. The next on my list is Northern Lincolnshire and Google. Google, I be Google, I don't know. The next on my list is Royal Berkshire NHS Trust. The next, then the last but not the least is Chesterfield Royal Hospital. So. This list of hospitals, right, they actually offer visa sponsorship for international nurses. Whether you're in Nigeria, whether you're in Ghana, whether you're in Cameroon, whether anywhere you are, 
they offer visa sponsorship and to actually top it up they have sweet relocation package some of them can pay for your accommodation some of them can afford you for your ILTS. some of them can pay for your flight ticket some of them can pay for your police certificate some of them can some of them can some of them can do everything so depending on if you told you back by a day and like i used to tell you your interview during your interview is the best time for you to actually negotiate right to negotiate um one or two what you want and um, this you not sound like a big you know but especially if you have a very good and high score qualification you know you're kind of raise your shoulders and if they say that it's only flight they want to pay for them be like i don't understand i finish with 4.5 i know we're going to pay for my accommodation i know going to pay for like you raise your bars more you get especially if you're for my real job academy you know that we, we don't used to settle for labor my lord you don't let them say ah, this guy you are too clinical you are just going to say there's a way they used to say during interview sha. i'm making a lot of videos so we're just going to say it in a very diplomatic way so it's not as if you are baking we don't used to beg on this channel they used to rush us in it they used to rush us. The our aunt used to rush sugar. They used to rush us. They used to be. So make sure you opt for the very good pair so that in the next few years, in the next few months, few years, by well, few months, you come and be telling me how you got to this thing. Do you believe? And please, and that thing that's gonna cause fight between me and you and all of his. If I actually get this job through this hospital and then it's not come back and tell me thank you. Hmm. Your employer will hold you one month alive. It may most of it. I know they don't used to do it in UK, but you will be an exception. So if you know that you don't want your employer to hold you, if you get the job through my link, hmm, just come back. This the cheapest thing. The cheapest thing for you to do is to just come and type thank you in the comment section. I get the job. So that hey, hey, I will not screenshot it back on. I used to do video and come and pepe my enemies. You don't understand me. I'm here for the pepe. So make sure you come back and tell me thank you because that thank you, you will know. Hmm. And that's why I'm even making this video. You will know I used to charge for this thing. That's why I'm making thank you. Telling me thank you can make me to go a very long way. Like the thing is to make my belly to be sweet. Yeah, so if you get the job, if I post this one and I don't say anybody that I say thank you, I got the job. I'm not going to post another because I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my data. I'm wasting my time. So learn to say thank you. Um, that, that's all I have to say. So guys, I wish you guys all the best, all the very best. I can't wait to celebrate every single one of you. So if after sending CV to all these ones and you don't get any response, then if you want secret ones in the private that people don't know about, you go. You have to bring your money to we'll apply for you. But then before I even take money from that, I'll first check if your CV is actually the point. That's why I'm telling you that your CV is very, very important. Most important. So far. That will bring us to the end of today's video. And if you like this video, you don't have an option. Why not go like this video? You don't want me. If you don't like this video, I will not post another one. I will, I will not post another one. Better give this video a thumb up. Baby, why you show? Who, who will beg you to thumb up? Get that thumb up. If you know you want to end that video like this. But if you want me to keep coming that, oh yeah, you should come and be. Thumb it down. I need some people say thumb it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. ta -da! Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Guys, I'm tired. If I look for thumbnail, 20 hospitals. Baby, calm down. <coughs> what? What are you going to flag me? What are you